Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do part three. <laughs> Yesterday I said this is going to be part two, but you know, technical difficulties <laughs> on my brain. So this is part three and we're doing this and it kind of made itself a double spread just because I wanted to make sure that these colors went over on this side. So we're going to do the little fish on this side. So I need to move this piece of paper over here. Um, I'm going to let you know one thing. Um, this might be kind of a shorter video. I was taking stuff out of our freezer yesterday and accidentally um, closed the freezer door on my fingers. <laughs> Which was not a very pleasant thing. Um, so the freezer is a drawer on the bottom of the um, refrigerator and it kind of has a uh, swing back so you just kind of give it a little push and then it slides its way and shuts but my fingers weren't out of the way so when it uh, kind of slammed shut it slammed on my fingers so uh, these three little fingers here on this hand um, were squished in the freezer so being a little swollen and a little sore and the hand I used to color with <laughs> We're going to take our little time on this guy and um, get him colored up a little bit. Now that our color choice on him are going to be like midnight colors. So this is our sunrise and our uh, nighttime. So morning, night fish. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do the yin and yang type part. So I will, um, let's see, we'll show you the colors. We have a black grape, which is uh, 996. We have diazinine, a uh, purple hue, 132. Skylight blue, 1086. And then um, slate blue, or blue slate, 1024. So we're kind of going from a deep dark purple to a light blue color. So we're going to um, probably start on an easy part, like a fin or something. <laughs> I'm going to get the camera down and we will see how we go. All right, so we're going to start off with the um, black grape. And we're going to let's see, start up here. So we'll put that in the darkest areas. We have a kind of lines we can follow on this fish. Okay, then we're going to bring in some of the uh, dioxanine purple hue. Okay, and we're going to go in with the um, blue slate. Okay, then we're going to go in with the uh, skylight blue. Nope, sky blue light. <laughs> Still can't get that one right. OK, 
Okay. So that is kind of the coloring I am going after on the whole fish. So <laughs> his fins will be done that way. We're going to do some of these little um, uh, scales, I guess they are, fish scales. I'm going to sharpen the pencil here so I can get a sharper point on that. So the same uh, coloring here, we're going to go in with the um, black grape. And we're going to put this kind of on this side of these. So I'll do a few of these. I mean, there are quite a bit of them. And then we'll move on to another portion of the fish. Like I said, this might be a, a shorter video than I'm used to, but I'll give you all the details of what I'm going to do on the fishy. I had to sharpen that one. And we're going to add just a tiny bit of that in here. These are really small but I want all the colors in them too. In fact, I'm just going to go all the way out. We're not going to do anything special to that little piece there. Thought about maybe doing it in black, but I'm changing my mind. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, the blue slate. Leave enough room there for the, um, oh, I didn't put enough on those. That's okay. At the, they can all be a little different. Kind of gives them a nice variation. Okay, and then the, um, sky blue light. Give it some of that purple on there. If you want to get it um, darker underneath there, just go back in with the um, darkest color and add a little more definition in there. Just like in there where I didn't get it quite <laughs> dark enough. Purple up in here. Just do some purple instead of the darkest color and see what it turns out like. Blue slate.
here and then the sky blue light Getting a little muddy in there. We're going to attempt to get some of that out. Just to brighten up the little bit here. And just bring in your eraser and go around that edge a little. And this one, like I said before, is kind of dying and battery wise, but there we go. Just kind of brighten those up a little bit like that. I know it's not perfect, but I can also add in a little white pencil. This has got blue all over it. So I always want to make sure that the pen little tips are clean. This might not work so we can bring in like a Posca. I haven't used this one yet so we have to activate it. This might take some time. <laughs> Come on. And pause it here for a minute. Okay, we've got it. And then we'll just uh, use it and go around these white areas. I do think I want them lighter. Should have just left them white. So one way down, I'll do that. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that better. This is a um, Pasca point the seven millimeter and it's a pin type tip got these off of eBay but I know they sell them on Amazon also okay so that's how those will go down the tail on both sides and the big fin there we'll do um, we'll do all the fins and the face Let's see how far we can get here. Same order pencil. If I can get them down. We'll start with the uh, black grape. In the darkest areas. Also do the tips and bring the color back up. Okay. And we go in with the that one, <laughs> the purple hue.
and then the <coughs> blue slate. Put pressure on this, you can blend those two together pretty nicely. Another reason we have a paper behind there that should be a little closer here. <laughs> okay, um, sky blue light. Our colors here and blend that a little bit better. You can tell by the um, little crumbles I'm getting. I'm putting a lot of pressure on these just to get them to mush together. I don't want any of the white page showing through. Okay. And we want to bring in a little more of the diazinon purple. And this you go lightly over it and you can get that to shade down into that blue a little bit better. Our tail piece, and I think we'll go ahead and work on its little face. So we'll go in with the black grape. I'm thinking this is his other eye here. I don't know what else it could be.
Okay, so we'll come in with the diazonine purple hue. You know, we should do the whiskers too, so I don't forget. <laughs> Slate. bit of the uh, sky blue here. Okay, we're going to do the same as we did up on the tail. We're going to go back in with the other color. So this is the slight blue. And we're going to bring that up here a little bit more. bring it down the whiskers too so I don't forget them like I'm doing okay I'm only gonna do one side of this for right this second so I'm just working on the side of the face Bring in the purple and just lightly bring that in too. okay go back in with the blue again and just blend that out a little bit better
I like that. Okay, work on the other side. So we laid down the um, dark. I don't know if I put too much purple in here, so we're going to add some purple. Bring this up a little further. And the blue. Slate blue. And the paper edge right there. It's not good. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to bring in the light, sky blue light. Put this all in this area. There we go. Hold on. All right, it's a little more purple on that side, so I'm going to just bring in the um, diazonine purple hue and add a little more in on this side. Kind of goes up to here, so we'll bring some out here. That will help it a little bit if I add some in here too. Okay, the slight blue. blue light. We'll do the little heart here. So this is the purple coming in on top of the black grape. Okay. 
deep blue, slate blue. And then the sky blue light. Okay, this little swirly thing we're going to do with a little bit of the that grape down here. Like I said, that didn't really matter much on that part. <laughs> I guess we were going to cover it up. The purple. The blue. And if we smoosh that in, we can get that almost seamless. I want to keep this one darker, so we're just going up with the blue on that. There we go. Okay. How's that? <laughs> uh, um, let's see. I have to go down another fin here. So we're going to start on this end with the black grape. The purple hue. Slate. Sky blue light. Oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, I think we'll put a little more purple on that one. Needs to come down on this side a little bit more. The blue slate. of that black grape over here too. Throw a little of that over here. And we're gonna put it down here too. And the purple. Slate. 
light blue. And that looks good. If we want, I'm going to be inking the background, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take the white Posca and just go over these lines. And add in some detail here. So those lines will show up. We'll be doing that around um, the face also. So we'll be doing a lot of that kind of um, detail work on there. So don't think all those little details are going to be <coughs> missing or anything. So basically all the fins are going to be done like that. I will um, go off camera now and finish up the little finny or finnies <laughs> scales here and these two fins and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to do the flowers. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we have finished um, the fins and the tail and the head. And I told you I'd do the little dudes back here. I went in with the uh, white Posca and added some little dots and went over those little scale parts that I wanted white. Also added a few more um, details in the fins. I'll probably go over here on the other side of the other fish this little guy over here and do some of that Posca work also. Told you I'd come back and do the flowers. So we're going to do um, these little guys. They're basically um, the same colors, granted. But um, on like this section of the fish, I did color in each one of those and then I just put a darker line here and shaded it in. So I probably will come down here and shade some of this in also to show you how that was done. The flowers are giving me kind of a, I don't know, they're, they're not as easy for me as the roses were on the other page. There is one spot here that needs to be the dark purple. So I'm just going to go in and put in, and this is the black grape. And just make that dark kind of a dark line that comes down here. And I missed that little one here. So we'll just color that one in dark. Okay. Add a little of the purple in here. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm almost thinking I would do the outside of this flower in dark and then go into a light, but I think I'll do it the opposite way and do dark in the center and then come out to a lighter color kind of to mimic the fins down here on the tail. So as in a circular motion, this will kind of go in like that, leaving a little bit of color to go in another area. I might as well do all of those at the same time. Uh, we'll 
do that much. <laughs> I'll have to do the rest of it off camera. This is the purple hue. We're going to go in and add the purple in here. Then we will come in with the slate blue. Just go in with the slate blue. I don't think there's enough room. For the uh, lightest blue in here, so we'll just make these purple. Like that. Um, let's see if we pull some of that purple out into these. Little petal guys. And then we'll go around the edges with the light. to bring it down and just kind of go up in a curve here. Add a little more color there. Go in with the purple. Slate blue. Drag that color across, putting a heavy pressure on this. go. The um, other flowers will be done the same way and then we're going to add these little dots. I'm going to make those white. And then we can put a couple of dots up the line that I did. And 
something like that. I might do something in the swirl. I don't know yet, but I'm going to um, say that is it. Off camera, I will do the other flowers, and then I'll put the uh, picture at the end of the video. That's all my hand is going to do today. So we're going to lift it up. So far, that's what those guys look like together. I will take a picture of this when I finish the flowers and put it at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in part four. Hope you guys all have a great day. Bye now.